The meeting room will come to order. We are now holding a meeting of the only MFA chapter. Mr. Vice President, are all officers at their stations? I shall call the roll of officers, determine if they are at their stations, and report back to you, Madam President. The Sentinel. Station by the door. Your duties there? Through this door, past many friends of the FFA. It is my duty to see that the door is open to our friends at all times and that they are welcome. I care for the meeting room and paraphernalia. I strive to keep the room comfortable and assist the president in maintaining order. The reporter. The reporter is stationed by the flag. Why by the flag? As the flag covers the United States of America, so I strive to inform the people in order that every man woman, and child may know that the FFA is a national organization that reaches from the state of Alaska to the Virgin Islands and from the state of Maine to Hawaii. The treasurer. Stationed at the emblem of Washington. Your duties there? I keep a record of receipts and disbursements, just as Washington kept his farm accounts, carefully and accurately. I encourage thrift among the members and strive to build up our financial standings through savings and investments. George Washington was better able to serve his country because he was financially independent. The secretary. Stationed by the Ercorn. Your duties there? I keep an accurate record of all meetings and correspond with other secretaries wherever corn is grown and FFA members meet. The advisor. Here by the owl. Why stationed by the owl? The owl is the time-honored emblem of knowledge and wisdom. Being older than the rest of you, I am asked to advise you from time to time as the need arises. I hope my advice will always be based on true knowledge and ripened with wisdom. Mr. Vice President, why do you keep the plow at your station? The plow is the symbol of labor and tillage of the soil. Without labor, neither knowledge nor wisdom can accomplish much. My duties require me to assist at all times in directing the work of our organization. I preside over meetings in the absence of our president, whose place is beneath the rising sun. Why is the president so stationed? The rising sun is the token of a new era in agriculture. If we will follow the leadership of our president, we shall be led out of the darkness of selfishness and into the glorious sunlight of brotherhood and cooperation. Madam President, all officers are at their stations. Thank you, Mr. Vice President. The secretary will call the roll of members. There are seven members and numerous guests present, Madam President. Thank you. FFA members, why are we here? <laughs> to practice brotherhood, honor agricultural opportunities and responsibilities, and develop those qualities of leadership which an FFA member should possess. <laughs> May we accomplish our purposes. I now declare this meeting of the only FFA chapter duly open for the transaction of business or attention to any matters which might properly be presented. Is there any new business? Madam President, Madam Secretary, I move that the only FFA sponsor an agri-science fair for our section members this fall. Second. It has been moved and seconded that the only FFA chapter sponsor an agri-science fair for our section members this fall. Madam Secretary, as the maker of this motion, you have the first right to discuss. I lend my full support to this motion as this will benefit our AgriScience CDE team. Another reason is this will introduce the incoming freshmen into a CDE as a starter to get them started in FFA. I think we should pass this motion. Thank you. Madam, Madam President. President. Madam Sentinel. Madam President, I think this is a great idea because this is a huge learning opportunity for members in our section. Also, this would be an amazing opportunity for section members to continue from our individual chapter AgriScience fairs onto the section level. I urge you to vote up. Thank you. Madam, Madam President. President. Madam Advisor. Thank you, Madam President. I think that this main motion is an amazing idea because holding this agri-science fair would be a great idea to start off our next school year and bring all the section together. And this is also a great idea because we can hold it at our only city park so ma many of the section members can maybe see the white squirrels. So I urge the assembly to vote up on this motion. Thank you. Madam, Madam President. President. Madam Treasurer. I think that this is a wonderful idea because this will give our members an opportunity to see different parts of agriculture that they might not have seen before. This is also a great idea because we currently have enough money to sponsor this because of our recent greenhouse sales. I think we should vote up on this motion. Thank you. Madam, Madam President. President. Mr. Vice President. Madam President, I simply cannot lend my support to this main motion, seeing as if we hold this agri-science fair in the fall, that will be around the time that we are sending a ton of our teams to the National Convention, so they will not be present to host this. Another reason this is a terrible idea is that in the fall it can get very cold, so I urge the Assembly to vote down on this motion. Thank you. Madam President. Madam Reporter. Madam President, I think that this main motion is a great idea because this will give our section members 
um, a chance to explore new topics of interest that they could use as a career in the future. Another reason I think this is a great idea is because this will be a way for our section to build unity and grow stronger together with the topic of ag science. I think we should vote up on this motion. Thank you. Is there any more discussion? Madam President. Mr. Vice President. Madam President, I rise to a question of privilege. Please state your question. Madam President, can we turn the AC on? It is very uncomfortable. I am sorry, I do not have access to the thermostat. We cannot fix that at this time. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Vice President. Is there any more discussion? Madam President. Madam Sentinel. I move to amend by adding a date of October 27th with a start time of 3.15 p.m. Second. It has been moved and seconded that we amend this pending motion by adding a date of October 27th and a start time of 3.15 p.m. So if this amendment is adopted, the main motion will read, I move that the only FFA chapter sponsor an agri-science fair for our section members this fall on October 27th at 3.15 p.m. Madam Sentinel, you have the first right to discuss. Thank you, Madam President. I think this is a great idea because with the, with the starting date of October 27th, the fall festival will be coming to a close. And also, with the start time at 3.15, it won't be too hot or too cold, so we will have a comfortable time to do this. I urge you to vote up on this motion. Thank you. Madam, Madam President. President. Madam Reporter. Madam President, I think that this amendment is a horrible idea because our local pumpkin patch is hosting an FFA night on October 27th for all the surrounding section chapters. Another reason I think this is a bad idea is October is only one month after school starts, and we will not have time to gather all the support coming from outside to present at the agri-science fair before this fair. So I think we should vote down on this amendment. Thank you. Madam, Madam President. President. Mr. Vice President. Madam President, I do not lend my support to this amendment, seeing as on October 27th, the Sanctuary for the White Squirrels will be on opening, and that our members will be there as they have participated in the building of this program. Another reason this is a terrible idea is that 315 is when most of our fall sports are going on. So I urge the Assembly to fail this amendment. Thank you. Now I have a parliamentary inquiry. Please state your inquiry. What is the vote required to pass an amendment? The vote required to pass an amendment is a majority vote. Thank you, Madam President. Thank you, Madam Secretary. Is there any more discussion? Madam President. Madam Advisor. Thank you, Madam President. I think that this amendment is an amazing idea because being at 3.15 p.m., it will be after school is over, so we will have time to get there and set up. And also, um, October 27th would be a good day because uh, if we have the day scheduled, then we could ask our advisors to help us see whether this the chapters in our section would like to participate in this event. So I urge the assembly to vote up on this motion. Thank you. Madam President. Madam Treasurer. I think that this amendment is a horrible idea, seeing that a lot of our members will be having to study for their upcoming CDEs, such as agronomy. This is also a terrible idea because our, of the other schools in our section might not want to have to leave school early to be able to come to this event. I think we should vote down on this amendment. Thank you. Madam President. Madam Secretary. I'm appalled by this amendment because October 27th is when we get out of school for a white scroll watch, and most of our members will be attending that and will not attend this. Another reason I think this is a horrible idea because 315 is when the white scroll start is supposed to be scheduled, and our members are set up setting up before then. I don't think we should pass this motion. Thank you. Is there any more discussion? Seeing as there is no more discussion, we now proceed to vote on a subsidiary motion to amend this motion. And if this amendment is adopted, the main motion will read, I move that the only FFA sponsor an agri-science fair for our section members this fall on October 27th at 3.15 p.m. All in favor, please say aye. Aye. All opposed, say no. No. This motion is with a no, this motion fails. We will not be amending this main motion. We will now proceed to discuss the main motion, which reads, I move that the only FFA sponsor an agro science fair for our section members this fall. Is there any discussion? Madam President. Madam Reporter. Madam President, I move to postpone this matter definitely to our next chapter meeting. Second. It has been moved and seconded that we postpone this matter definitely until our next chapter meeting. Madam Reporter, you have the first right to discuss. Thank you, Madam President. I think that this is a fantastic idea because this will allow our chapter officers to invite guest speakers that are passionate about agro science to speak to the many members that will be coming to this agri-science fair. Another reason I think this is a bad idea is because this will allow our uh, chapter reporters to invite companies to come and present at our uh, fair. I think we should vote up on this motion. Thank you. Madam, Madam President. Madam Advisor. Thank you, Madam President. I think that this postpone definitely is an amazing idea because if we postpone this to our next meeting, it will be closer to time so we could see, we could ask um, businesses to come present stuff at our 
at the agri-science fair and also this is an amazing idea because if we postpone this to the next meeting we it, since it's closer to time we will be able to ask uh, chapters in our section if they would be busy on that day and see how many people would come if we did hold it. So I urge the assembly to vote up on this motion. Thank you. Madam, Madam President, President. Madam Sentinel. Madam President, I think this is a terrible idea because during our next civil meeting, it will be during the Washington DC trip and there will not be very good attendance. Also, I think this is a terrible idea because at our next meeting, uh, most of our members will be busy with the county fair setting up because it is our responsibility as the FFA to serve our county at the FFA Fair. I urge you suddenly, vote down. Thank you. Madam President. Madam Secretary. I am against this postponing definitely, definitely. As this is set for full, we can, as this is set for full, we can prepare now and have it prepared later. Another reason I think we should fail this motion is because next meeting our members, will, our advisors will be in Florida setting up our trip. I don't think we should pass this motion. Thank you. Madam President. Madam Treasurer. I think that this is a terrible idea because we don't know if we will all be together at our next meeting, so we might not get all the attention that this deserves. This is also a terrible idea because at our next meeting, we'll be busy discussing the end of the year bash that we are going to be holding. I think we should vote down on this postponement. Thank you. Madam President. Mr. Vice President. Madam President, I speak in favor of this postpone definitely because if we postpone this to our next chapter meeting, it will give our new FFA officers a chance to see what it is like to handle a motion. Another reason this is an amazing idea is that we will have time and the sufficient time to discuss this. I urge the assembly to vote up on this postponement. Thank you. Is there any more discussion? Seeing as there is no more discussion, without proceeding to vote on the motion to postpone this matter definitely until our next chapter meeting, all in favor, please say aye. Aye. All opposed, say no. No. This motion is with a yes as this motion passes. We will be postponing this matter definitely until our next chapter meeting. Madam Secretary, do you have a record of any further business which should not be transacted? I have none, Madam President. Does any member know of any new or unfinished business which should properly come before this meeting? We are about to adjourn this meeting of the only FFA chapter. As we mingle with others, let us be diligent in labor, just in our dealings, courteous to everyone, and above all, honest and fair in the game of life. Fellow members and guests, join me in a salute to our flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I now declare this meeting adjourned. Members, please rise for questioning. We're going to start with Madam President. Yes, Mr. Parliamentarian. If a motion is postponed to the next chapter meeting, when in the order of business would that motion be brought back for consideration? Could you please repeat the question? Absolutely. If a motion is postponed to the next chapter meeting, when in the order of business would that motion be brought back for consideration? If a motion is postponed definitely until the next chapter meeting, it would be brought back up with old business right before new business. Thank you. We're going to come over to Madam Sentinel. If the motion to amend is applied to an amendment on a recess, what is this amendment called? A secondary amendment. And can that amendment be discussed? Can the amendment be discussed? Okay, thank you. Uh, Madam Treasurer, as Treasurer, what are two duties of your office outlined in the official FFA manual? Um, I receive um, funds and I present the Treasury report I use. Thank you. Uh, Madam Reporter, if an organization holds regular meetings on a monthly basis, for how long could a motion be postponed if the motion postponed definitely is presented? The motion to postpone definitely could only be put off until the next chapter meeting, which is a month away. Thank you. Uh, Madam Secretary, yes. if you are the chair and a member rises to a parliamentary inquiry and asks to adjust the volume of the microphone, 
how would you proceed? I would ask them if they had a parliamentary question about law, as that would be a question of privilege. Okay, thank you. Uh, Madam Advisor, in addition to the six officers included in opening ceremonies, what are two additional officers that a chapter could elect according to the official FFA manual? Two separate officers that a chapter could elect according to the FFA manual would be historian and student council representative. Okay, thank you. Uh, Mr. Vice President. Yes, sir. You have two parts. What is the purpose of the motion question of privilege? Can you repeat the question? What is the purpose of the motion question of privilege? The purpose of the motion to, uh, question of privilege is to ask a question regarding the comfort of the assembly or the person. Okay. And is a vote required to adopt a question of privilege? No vote is required to adopt a question of privilege as the chair rules upon it. Thank you. All right, ladies. Mr. President, I do have a question. Yes. After further consideration, is it possible if I could change my last answer? Uh, it's not as totally unfortunately, right. not. Okay. But thank you for asking. Okay. All right, ladies and gents, uh, you can leave your cards at your tables, take your pens and pencils with you, and you are free to go. Thank you.